are you doing? Uh, Matt Phillips here from runchatlive.com and I am doing 100 push-ups a day in November to raise money for the fantastic people at Cancer Research UK. And in case you haven't done the maths, that's the equivalent of 3,000 push-ups in November. So with this series of videos, what I'm hoping to do is give some tips and advice to people also doing the challenge. There's already people I'm seeing in the Facebook group struggling, getting injured. So I want to try and make sure that we reduce the chances of that happening. And there will be some future videos on what to do if you are still if you are suddenly feeling a little bit of pain somewhere. So look out, subscribe to the YouTube channel um, and hopefully we'll be able to get to that together and raise money for this very important charity. So today what I want to talk about is um, the position of your arms during a press up. Now, there is, I'll say it straight outright, there is a myth in the fitness industry that having your elbows out to the side will cause you pain, okay? This is a myth, is a misconception. I was taught it years and years and years and years and years ago, um, but there's actually no one perfect way of doing a press up which will keep everybody happy all of the time. It depends very much on your shape, the length of your arms. It depends on um, your history of injury and all sorts of other factors. OK, and we're all very different with respect to all of those categories. So traditionally, we are told that having your arms out to the side makes you look like a chicken wing or something um, and it's going to give you problems now. This is a myth, like I say. Let me get rid of my background and demonstrate for you. There we go. So I do press ups that way, I always have, okay? When you have your arms out to the side, you can appreciate that your fists are now very far apart. It's the furthest apart they can go, which means when you do your press up, you're using the chest more than anything. The wider the grip, the more you're gonna be working the chest. Now that's not a bad thing, okay? For some people, if the chest is the strongest part of their body, okay, in contrast to the shoulder or the back of the arm, then that will be the best press up for them. And I think that's probably, I can do the most press ups with my arms wide. As you start moving your arms back towards the side, you take the effort away from the chest and you move it more towards the triceps, which is the muscle at the back of your arm. Now for me, maybe because I've got long arms, maybe because, I'm a runner and I haven't really ever really done weight training just for my triceps. The tricep push up for me, I can do them, but I wouldn't want to do kind of over 30 or 40 because I won't get there. Okay. And if I'm pushing my body using muscles which aren't strong enough to do the job, that's the number one cause of niggles and pain and injury. So it's up to you to choose a version which suits your body and you'll know because you'll be able to do more. Or you'll know because you will, if you choose the wrong type, then you will feel more sore and in pain the next day. There's no reason why anybody should have to do it at 45 degrees. Okay, 45 degrees here. Okay, so that's in between the shoulders and the chest. And it may work for you. But even me, I can feel that that's harder work than having my arms out to the side. And the secret of this challenge is choosing a version which is easiest for your body okay if you were doing specific rehab because of an injury or if you were training for a competition or try to get into the police force or something where you have to do a test with the elbows to the side then fine do that particular press up get good at what you're going to be tested at but for this challenge i can't stress enough choose a version of the press up which will feel good for your body and reduce the chance of injury okay makes sense um everyone's going to be different that's what that that gets mistaken in the fitness industry. We all think we've got to do what the gurus do or what the other people in the club do. Your body, your history, everything is very different from the person next to you. So bear that in mind. Right. I hope that's been useful for you. If you do have any questions, as always, um, you can write to me, Matt Phillips at runchatlive.com, or you can go to the fantastic Facebook group for 100 press ups or 100 push ups um, in November. I hang out there and you can talk to me there. Um, and also, if you've enjoyed this video, and um, you, you find them quite useful, then do please. Um, I am raising money as well, okay? Um, you can donate to the link under here, which is tinyearl.com forward slash Matt Pushup. I'll talk in another video how I made that link. It's very simple. You just go to a website called tinyearl.com and you can use your own little personalized link. It's far easier to hand out than the complicated long one, which comes from the fundraiser page. So for me, 
tinyl.com forward slash Matt Pushup. I've already had some great feedback. Thank you very much for people who are enjoying these videos and finding them useful. Uh, and thank you for people who've made donations already. That's great. Right. See you soon. Take care. Watch out for the next video. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, One Chat Life. Thank you.